This is a review for the Roborock S6 Max V. The S6 Max V's airflow was measured at 16 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.27 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the S6 Max V picked up all debris types very well. This robot's direct cleaning path is only an average width, as its brushroll compartment is only 6.5 inches wide. However, the robot's overall cleaning path is fairly wide, as the robot itself is an above average diameter of 13.5 inches, with an oversized side brush on one side, very effectively pulling debris from the perimeter of the robot into its direct cleaning path, and thereby extending its overall cleaning path. Like most other robot vacuums we tested, the S6 Max V wasn't able to pick up all debris in a single pass. It used repeated movement over the same areas, to get a thorough cleaning in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test, the SX Max V picked up six grams of debris after three passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the SX Max V once again picked up all debris types very well. It again used repeated movement over the same areas to get a thorough cleaning in this test over time. The SX Max V performed very well cleaning edges. It cleans edges better than most other LiDAR Roborock robot vacuums we tested because it gets closer to them when it moves close and parallel to them. It's unclear whether it's additional sensors, it's two front-facing cameras, or just better programming that allows it to get closer to edges than the S4, S5, and other S6 Roborocks we tested. Either way, it definitely gets closer, and because it gets so close, it's able to clean edges much better. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the SX Max V did not perform well on default power or on maximum power. Even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull most of the debris out of the crevice used for this test on either power setting. In our human hair pickup test, the SX Max V picked up all the hair, but most of that hair wasn't pulled into its dustbin. 70 to 90% of the hair it picked up tangled around its brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. In our pet hair pickup test, the S6 Max V picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. The S6 Max V does come with a mopping attachment, and so we tested how well it could mop. It performed very well in our mopping test, cleaning the test surface in under two minutes without issue. We tested the S6 Max V's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. But before we discuss those test results, we first need to talk about how the robot navigates. The S6 Max V uses LiDAR, that is light detection and ranging, to navigate. There's a laser perch on the top of the robot that gives it this capability. The S6 Max V is also one of very few robot vacuums on the market that uses AI to avoid smaller obstacles like shoes and pet waste. Two front-facing cameras give it this capability. In our empty room testing, we first see how the robot uses LiDAR to navigate around a room. Notice how the robot moves in very precise row-by-row -row patterns and repeats these row-by-row -row patterns during the same cleaning cycle. This redundancy increases the odds of it being able to pick up especially hard to pick up debris in one cleaning cycle. Also note how the robot moves vertically in this first trial and moves horizontally in the second trial. This horizontal movement on top of the vertical movement in the first trial further increases the probability of it being able to pick up stubborn debris. Note that certain robots we tested do move in both a vertical and horizontal pattern in the same cleaning cycle, which gives the highest probability of picking up stubborn debris in a single cleaning cycle. In our cluttered room testing, we again see row by row patterns in the few open areas of the room, but we mostly see how well the S6 Max V can navigate around larger obstacles like chairs and tables and here the SX Max V does very well. It's able to navigate around all of the obstacles in the room with an extremely high degree of precision and efficiency, getting perfect coverage with excellent redundancy across the whole room. We also tested the robot's AI, or reactive AI as Roborock calls it, in a separate test in the same room. In this test, we laid out a series of smaller obstacles to see how well the SX Max V could recognize them and more importantly, how well it could avoid them. In this first trial, the robot was able to avoid all of the obstacles, except for the socks, though it immediately backed out once it touched the socks. 
Overall, in terms of obstacle avoidance, the robot did very well in this trial. But on the negative side of things, it wasn't able to really get good coverage across the room in this trial. It seemed to get stuck in this one area. Even after several minutes, it just wouldn't leave this area. And when we sent it back to the charging base using the app, it wouldn't go back. In the second trial, the robot was able to get much better coverage across the room. But this time it ran right over one of the obstacles, a power cord. Still, it avoided four out of the five obstacles and completed a full cleaning cycle, which is an impressive result. Most other robot vacuums on the market would run right over all five of these obstacles. The bottom line here is that the S6 Max V's reactive AI works. It's not perfect, but it does work reasonably well according to our testing. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially that this is a full-fledged mapping robot that has the ability to map multiple floors of your home. And using the Roborock Companion app, you can label different parts of the generated map, set the robot to clean specific parts of the map, or set it to stay out of certain parts of the map. In the same chart, also note the S6 Max V's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all of the robot vacuums we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the S6 Max V one of the larger robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The S6 Max V picks up most types of debris very well on both carpets and hard floors. It cleans edges well and it mops well. Using LiDAR, it gets excellent coverage and navigates very efficiently around a wide variety of different types of larger obstacles. And using its two front-facing cameras, it's also one of very few robot vacuums on the market that can recognize and avoid many types of smaller obstacles like shoes or pet waste. It also has great battery life and runs fairly quietly. Moving on to what we dislike about the S6 Max-V, it does have a fairly small dustbin while the robot itself is quite large, which means that it may not be able to fit in between or underneath certain furniture in your home. This is also one of the more expensive robot vacuums on the market. In terms of general recommendations, the S6 Max-V is one of the best robot vacuums we've tested so far. Compared to the S4, S5, and other S6 Roborock robot vacuums we've tested, the S6 Max-V offers very similar performance, outside of the fact that it can clean edges better and can avoid smaller obstacles with its reactive AI. For that better edge performance and reactive AI, you have to pay a considerably higher purchase price. So is it worth it? Is it worth spending several hundred dollars more for better edge performance and reactive AI? And the answer to that is yes, as long as your budget allows for it. Better edge cleaning performance makes a big difference. Reactive AI makes a big difference. Together, these two improvements make the S6 Max-V almost a perfect robot vacuum. So as long as your budget allows for it, the S6 Max-V comes highly recommended. See the description of this video for a link to buy the S6 Max-V We'll also have a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend, including some cheaper alternatives as well, in the description to this video. Thank you for watching.